Good evening, YouTube and Twitch. This is Paul, and welcome to Reform Nerd. Today I'm picking up with a new game. Well, actually, it's a very old game, but it's new to me. <laughs> and that will be the game Beholder. Apologies. Let me switch my screen over and get the master volume turned up again. Perfect. <clears throat> But yes, Beholder, uh, it's a interesting little romp in a dystopian future uh, filled with a lot of cryptid undertones and the like, and frankly I've been looking forward to trying to play this for a long time because I saw someone play the, the beta when this was first coming out many years ago, and uh, it just really seemed to interest me and I never actually had the chance to go and sit down and check it out for myself. So. Let's hop right into it, I guess. <laughs> it should be interesting. Uh, experience the game as it was meant to be played with difficult choices and challenges, or easy mode. I'm tempted to go with easy mode, but honestly, I don't think this is a game that anyone is supposed to win. So I'm just going to save time and, and uh, hop into this proper. <laughs> Dear Carl Stein, we are happy to announce you've been appointed a landlord of the Class D apartment block on Krushvitz 6. You must arrive there immediately and start working. And your family are given an apartment on the first floor. The experimental medicine you've been injected with during the medical checkout suppresses your need for sleep. Thus, you will be able to spend more time serving your motherland. Welcome to the Elite Official Rank, Ministry of Allocation. Instantly could go into pause. Uh, so anyone who didn't watch any of my live stream, my live stream yesterday for the six people who are actually online at the moment between the, the two channels, <laughs> um, I actually am kind of continuing a little bit of a story with this one. So yesterday I was aiming to create a... a communist uh, despot utopia in Tropico 6 beta and I thought it was just amazingly appropriate to continue on with that trend and come straight on over to Beholder to see what the life is like in my newfound communist utopia on Tropico. So I thought this would be a fun little idea to see the inside of the civilization that I created. Um, but this game does strike me as a little bit loud, so bear with me. I'm just going to check on the stream to see if my voice is coming through properly. Oh, actually, that's not so bad. Okay. I guess I have the master volume set low enough in the game, uh, in the OBS, that uh, it's not really that big of an issue. So I'm glad to hear that. And... Uh, I fear I have one other thing to do. There we are. All right. So I'm all set. 
<sighs> this is your boss. Click on him and begin talking. When there's a exclamation point by an NPC, he or she has a quest for you. Nothing oh, ominous, by the way, this guy looks. So you must be Carl. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Ministry of Order, I welcome to you to your new position. What's going on? We're merely driving pests out of the house. It's no concern to you. I have a feeling that's just better to agree. Your predecessor was unable to cope with the easiest tasks. If a person occupying an important position can't cope with a simple task, there's only one outcome. He did that intentionally, i.e. he became an outlaw. As of now, everything your tenants do is your business. And the word everything means... The word everything means absolutely everything. You will follow their every step and document any suspicious activity. That is, if you want uh, to earn a reputation for being a good public servant. If you're going to be a perfect beholder, document hobbies, interests, and even conversations. Uh, observe and record. Surveillance cameras will help. Just start at the beginning. Have you ever managed an apartment building before, Carl? Do you need any help? Uh, so I have actually done the tutorial, but I'm going to go ahead and do it uh, real quick because it's, it's fast and easy. And for anyone who hasn't played this game, which is probably most people, it was kind of on the independent side of things, it might help. Uh, keep your eyes peeled and don't miss a thing. Here's your journal. It's located on the top right of the screen. Oh. Top right of the screen. So, yeah. Scroll through the tabs and look at it. Okay, fair enough. So, tasks, of course, is where basically the government tells me what's going on and what I need to be looking for. Profile is who's living where. Uh, government directives, it is illegal to harbor criminals or hide their actions. Hmm, fair enough. No, I don't know, what's that? Messages? Uh, I forget. I literally haven't turned this game on since I bought it like six months ago. <laughs> and bills. Fantastic. Then we'll continue our talk. Oh, crap, I did it too early. <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, let me just go through everything. Fantastic. Let's go back to surveillance. Set up surveillance cameras in your house to simplify your work. According to our documentation, your predecessor received two of them. Find them in your office, which is to the right of this room. So, it's basically kind of a point-and-click adventure at this point. Search my desk and take the cameras. Install them in the dining hall. Follow me. You're fat and slow, Mr. Government Man. Click on the smoke detector and choose the camera to install. Click the basket to remove the camera. So let's install one here. Oh, so it had already set that up in the system. Fair enough. So I, yeah, I think I have to install both of them in this room before the game will allow me to progress. So let's get on with that. Talk with your boss to receive new instructions. You're doing fine. Here's your first reward. 300 bucks and 100 reputation. Spend your money on things you need. You'll find them at the shop. You'll receive surveillance cameras as you earn reputation points. Reputation points show you're standing with the public. You receive them for completing tasks. You can also use them for your personal gain in order to persuade people around you to do what you want them to do. Unfortunately, I have no... Unfortunately, I have issues to deal with in the ministry. However, you can call me anytime from your office using your private line and ask me anything. By the way, Carl, I strongly encourage you to answer your phone. Remember, you and I serve our great people and completing the order of the ministries our bread and butter. It's also our water and air. Here's the main thing. Several tenants are at risk. Your predecessor couldn't handle things. We're hoping you'll do better. 
just tell me how. First of all, watch the tenants closely, file a report as soon as you gather evidence, the police will take care of the rest. Between ourselves, our great state and we'll, we'll, our great state can be very grateful to those who do their work well. The ministry can turn a blind eye to forgery and blackmail if they help achieve your goal. I'll do my best. I like your enthusiasm, but be slow to call our department. You can always ask your wise tutor for advice. One last instruction, the key I gave you opens every door in the building. Make sure your tenants leave their apartment before you enter it. Many citizens still think their private life is their own business. Let it be so. Now get to work. Yeah, this game is just so Orwellian. <laughs> All right, so call the ministry is my first task. It looks like to yeah call to receive instructions. So my wife and my child, and there's my secret work phone. Well, not really secret, but my work phone. <laughs> so. I'll come on over and give it a ring. Hello, Carl. You're, you've learned your main duties. Are you ready to receive a task? Yes, I am. Established surveillance in Department 2. Jacob Manishek lives there. You can always buy the cameras you need at the state shop. Only enter a tenant's apartment when they're not home and be careful. Alright, so obviously, we'll just go on ahead and... Well, I can afford one more camera, so I'll just go out and buy two at the moment. Watch Jacob Machinik. You can buy cameras at the store. Search apartment two. Install a camera in the apartment. Gather data on Jacob Machinik. Hey, Indigo. How's it, how are you doing? <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. So, let's uh, start off. I got through the tutorial, which is a little narrative heavy, so thank you for bearing with me on that. And looks like no one's home. Alright, that's fortunate, so we can hop right on in, I suppose. Ooh, D and D. I might have to check that out. <laughs> um, yeah, I just literally started mine. Um, I'm kind of having a fun little communist dystopian trend going on this week, so uh, <laughs> Beholder seemed extraordinarily appropriate for that. So he likes to gamble. So I'll add that to his profile. Oh boy. Broken bottle. Okay. And we just need to keep an eye on the bus here because he might be coming home at any time. I uh, finished inspecting this home. Now I just need to go ahead and put a camera in here before anyone gets back. And get the heck out of Dodge. Okay. Call the ministry and report the completion of your task. Fair enough. Let's run on downstairs. And call the master handlers. Dial a number, report a task. Congratulations, your task was a success. You are rewarded. 500 bucks? Hey, not so bad. And 50 reputation points. According to our source, Jacob Mish is violating, uh, is violating state directives. Spy on him using the surveillance cameras. When the camera detects a tenant doing something illegal, the action icon changes color. Click on the icon and add the evidence to the dossier. Attach the evidence you gather to your report, and off we go. So something new, message received, all right. Gather evidence and report for $1,000. All 
So drugs are now illegal. Oddly enough, I would think that drugs would have been illegal far longer than this. Hey, no, I appreciate it, Indigo. Thank you kindly, and uh, have a good one. And um, curious, when do you do your next D&D stream? I might have to check that out. I've always been a fan of watching it since I don't actually have time to play it myself. <laughs> Production of political propaganda is prohibited. It is illegal to harbor criminals or... Okay, I already knew that. Ah, 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 illegal stuff, illegal stuff. All right, well, that was fast. Uh, he wrote... Oh, apples are now illegal. Okay, that's new. Um, so I suppose... Begin writing reports on the desk. Perfect, so... Let's get started on that. Every Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Perfect. I have to keep that in mind. But thank you, and do have a great one. <laughs> All right, so write a report. This would be... Yep, that guy. Man is check. Directive 6039 which is from the September 1st and profile click the drugs <clears throat> so I'll have to report him for the creation of drugs very good Ooh, and the police are already here <laughs> good night Rather big, brutish fellows, aren't they? Gonna run up here and... I'm gonna go outside and see if I can talk to them. No, they won't let me talk to them. Hey, thank you, NYC. I appreciate that. <laughs> Wow, so no questioning or anything. They just beat the heck out of the guy and drag him out of the apartment. <laughs> and they even kick him on the way out. That's nice. <laughs> well, I mean, that's an easy one to start with. Um, obviously, making drugs is not really something that's... Oh. Okay, so just... Uh news article update okay fair enough but yeah it's uh easy to turn in the guy creating the drugs that uh very little moral ambiguity on that one so that was a nice uh a nice one to start with i should say <laughs> but i know from my quick little playthrough that it gets much worse very quickly <laughs> All right, new direct government directive. Okay, repair apartment two and find a new attendant or a uh, new tenant. So that's easy enough. So uh, repair apartment two, and that's up now for populations. It is legal to read or own a book by Paul Williams. Hmm. Paul Williams is $250 award no bills so that is off to a decent start and uh, who's available Aloysius Shipak I think that's how you pronounce that Jones Papande Papanedo Hmm. They really don't give you much to go on, but fair enough. I went with the doctor last time, and I'm not sure if I like what was triggered from that. So I'm going to try to see what Jones has to say. Okay, now I have to call the ministry, and there doesn't seem to be anything else going on at the moment. Oh, yeah, I think that's the, the new guy. So, let's say hi to the new guy. 
he doesn't want to talk. Okay, fair enough. You don't have to talk. That's that's fine. <laughs> Let's see. Is there anyone home here? It doesn't seem to be, and no one got off the bus. So, yeah, let's go on ahead and take a look in here. Well, actually, no, I should probably call the Ministry. I feel like they don't like it when I have them waiting too long. <laughs> so let's reference. Repairing apartments, documenting characters, right? Collecting tenant data. Oh, so this is just basically... All right, understood. So that is actually just straight up uh, tutorials to things. So dial the number, report a task. Congratulations, your task was a success. As a reward, we are transferring the following sum to your account. A thousand bucks. Hey, two fifty reputation. That's not bad. Remember, if you could remiss, if you miss a call from the Ministry of Order, you'll be fined. You must be in your apartment at all times and answer the phone when it rings. Uh, yeah. Definitely not a strict overbearing workforce here. <laughs> Even if you're dying. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. You got rid of the violator. Now survey your tenant's opinion on Shimmer. Find out the other people think about him. Document his characteristics. After you're done with the survey, get to work. Okay. So... Talk with... Uh, so I have to talk with my family and talk with pretty much everyone else in the building as well. All right, let's meet the new guy. Hello, I'm Andrew Meisner. My name is Carl. I'm the new manager of the apartment building. Boston on Coal Barge 2387. I'm preparing for a long trip or sailing abroad. While I'm working as a trainee of the Outside Affairs Committee, I'll leave. I'll live in your cell. Uh, this training is probably for everyone who travels abroad on business. Hmm. Fair enough. We're talking anti-propaganda training. Ah. I should have expected a... Um... What's the word I'm looking for? Orwellian answer. Yes. So... You're leaving on your house. You're, you're, you're leaving our house soon. Do you? I have that right. We're about to be leave. The barge is ready. We're waiting for the outside affairs committee to instruct the crew uh, through the bay to the south and then towards the Neal Sea. Have you been to Cher? No, the city. This is the largest trade port city. It's had free governance for the last decade. Hmm. We'll stay in the port for a week to unload coal and take walks. Let's see then. Uh, fair enough. Nothing too, um, too concerning from that, I suppose. Uh, this was flashing, but I don't see anything new. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, that's the guy that the ministry was asking about. Hang on a second. Hello. All right. Get acquainted. My name is Carl. Klaus, hello. You'll manage this building that used to belong to my family. Oh, the previous manager had already turned it into junk. I hope you can fix this. I'll do my best. I suppose we should go on ahead and get acquainted then. It's nice to meet you. Oh, I, all right. We already are acquainted, apparently. Mm, ask about the apartment. Did the house belong to you? That's right. It used to belong to my family. I wanted to turn it into a boarding house for the gifted children, but it was converted into a residence hall instead. This isn't so bad, you haven't seen the living quarters on level D. <laughs> You're right, our situation could be worse, at least we're free. 
One can play chess at liberty. This is expensive. So... Information collected is play chess, but it doesn't seem to be evidence or anything, so I guess playing chess is not a crime. But that must be his wife, and I do think I'm supposed to talk with her. This is Carl in the New Bell. Nice to meet you. I'm Maria. Do you bring your family here? We just moved in. It would be nice to meet you. Okay. Ask about the husband. How's your husband doing? He looked upset. He doesn't feel well. He received a parcel containing a reel of film. Klaus likes taking photos. That would cheer him up. Okay. Um, that's not a crime, is it? No, that's just information. So, taking pictures is an acceptable activity. Who's this woman down here? Rosa Rannick. Good afternoon to you as well. Uh, yes, I'm the new guy. Nice to meet you. Met my naughty husband. <laughs> okay. We have a son too. He's just like you, but he lives in the capital. By capital, I'm assuming she means my tourist paradise on the other side of the island. <laughs> okay, ask about Klaus. He's a person of worth. Okay, that's good. He helped me acquire a nice bottle of Zeres, Zeres whatever that is. He's an expert in wine. Okay, I guess it's wine. Uh, unlike my grandpa. Wine steward. <laughs> okay. So, who's the other person I needed to talk to? Merrick Rannick. So, I need to find the other Rannick. Yeah. So, the... The, uh... The, uh... What do we call them? Merchant Marine, I guess? Yeah, I just call him Merchant Marine. Is a smoker. Fair enough. And now he's off to bed. Looks like everyone is off to bed, but I am immortal, so I don't have to. What's this guy out here? Judging from the dollar symbol, I'm thinking he must be a shop. My compliments... Sell for 150 bucks? Hmm. I can buy clothing, alcohol, aspirin, a sappy sentimental love ball novel. <laughs> Barf, okay. Uh, a great life of our beloved leader, a book about the inspiring life of our great leader. Oh, it's a book about El Presidente. Fantastic. Cardigan, uh, green tie, chocolate bar, books, whiskey, and blue tie. Nothing that typic that outright appeals to me at this time. Singing in front of the Ministry of Order is prohibited. What do they mean by in front of? Then uh, they're still talking about the Paul Williams guy. Fair enough. So. Oh, people are waking up, 5 a.m., and I think that's the guy I still need to talk to. So maybe if I just knock on the door, he'll come and answer me. That would be nice. Let's see. Yes, he is coming to open the door. Fantastic. So he should be the last one I actually need to talk to for the original mission that was assigned to me. From the archivist. Archivist. Alright, I'm Carl. Yes, Miss Mark Rannick is a respected archivist. I have to live in this disgusting apartment. I hope you'll put everything here in order. 
Try harder. You need this more than me. I have a feeling he is actually more accurate than he probably gives himself credit for. Alright, so I ask about Klaus. Um... Well, the, my boss said that they want to keep the fact that they're under constant supervision a secret. So I think vague reply would be the better option. I don't know anything you don't know. Moreover, curiosity is a terrible sin. I had a co-worker that was always poking his nose into other people's business and documents. Um, what happened to him? You've learned more than you have to. Goodbye. All right, and this guy is giving me a exclamation mark. So let's see what he ask about special offer. Times are hard. Everyone is doing their best. I have canned fish. You know everyone around here. Find me a buyer, and I'll pay you generously. Uh, what kind of canned food is it? Good or the usual muck? Best quality, it's imported from abroad. I'll sell like hotcakes, but it's not safe for me to go out to the market. I want to sell them quietly without drawing attention to myself. I found the canned food in the hold, nobody used them. Rule one on the barge if it's not nailed down, it doesn't belong to anyone, so I took as many as I could carry. <laughs> Interesting, okay. Uh, that seems a little bit too easy. I'll turn it down. Yeah, because I'd imagine I'd probably have to sell it to this guy here. And I don't think the game is going to give me an option to make a lot of money by walking five feet uh, and selling it to the guy down the road. Uh, the Ministry of Truth, and Truth has noticed a rising interest in philosophy books, including the works by Paul Williams, who died a century ago. His writings describe obsolete ideas that have been proven to be unrealistic. However, they still capture people's minds. The Ministry believes that the notion of a society without government, in which the freedom of personal choice exists, is dangerous and should be destroyed in all forms. That does seem a lot like Tropico. The fact that our society is capable of understanding Paul Williams' ideas in mass proves his unique talent and ability to word things simply. <laughs> uh, we should encourage interest in the great thinkers of the past if we want progress and initiate dialogue between the people and the state. Philosophy is nonsense. Hmm, okay. Oh. Where is she off to? Oh, ask about the sun. Our dear boy has become a boss. I haven't seen him in a long time, so long ago. Uh, Mark has been working in the archives his entire life. He likes his job. He deals with a lot of papers and not so many people. He spends his vacation in the company of his fishing rod. Huh. Nothing wrong with fishing, I'll assume. No, not you. Uh, husband's already gone. Fantastic. But she already said that they live alone and they are both... Yeah, they're both... Where, where are they? Where did they go? Did they go outside? I don't know if they went outside or if they just went to the basement. That could be a problem. <laughs> but let's see what we've got to find. Rare and expensive stamps. Not illegal, though. Okay. Tobacco. Names, dates, and other info. Mediocre tobacco. Frames are cheap and have been repaired several times. Okay. Apparently, my communist state does not have vision insurance, but that's fine. I always have to pay extra for my vision insurance as well. Manuscript contains a lot of notes. Wait, is that? No, no, that's that's. Oh, that is Ronick. Okay, so if they weren't out of the building yet, it looks like he is out of the building now at minimum. So that's good. 
<sighs> Tigger Balm is excellent for stopping the runny nose. Old sweater, blue shirt. Okay. Is there anyone getting off of the bus I need to be worried about? No. So, books, yarn. Okay. Don't know why yarn is going to be something of interest to the government, but uh, people are coming. People are coming. Is that just my kid? Yeah, just my kid. Okay. And another bus is coming. Guardian Magazine wallet. Wallet. Very little money. Okay. Uh, no, she is... Yeah, yeah, she's definitely... Okay, yep, get out of her house. That is not worth hanging around for. What about down here? Does this guy... I think he left as well. Let's see what he might have in his apartment. Looks safe. Let's just make sure he doesn't get off the bus here. Nope, he was not on the bus. Perfect. Let's get in here and take a look around. So, what did he hide in his chair? Wow, he hid a lot in his chair. <laughs> no. Toothbrush. Gambling, okay. Wine. Uh, there's some people here. Okay, neither of them is the sailor. Tobacco, blue shirt. All right, let's check the end table. Still, it doesn't look like he's around here, so that's good. Whiskey coin collecting album. Rare, antique, and modern coins from a variety of countries. Okay, towel. Let's see what he has in this chair, because apparently he likes to keep things in his chairs. <laughs> Uh, eyeglasses and jeans, fair enough. How about the bed? Oh, nope. Uh-oh. He is back, and he's coming. Broken bottle, okay. Uh, uh, empty bottle, okay. Get out of there, get out of there. Move, move. I was definitely not in your apartment. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Take a look at him. Did he go back to his apartment? As so, he's reading. Ooh, new directive. It is illegal to use foreign currency. I don't think I've found foreign currency. Um, I remember I found stamps. Like, yeah, foreign stamps and. He had something as well. Foreign coins. Is foreign coins... Well, how is it? Foreign currency. So that is illegal. Um, interesting. Let me see if I can possibly blackmail... Uh, Jones, Pepperdo, apartment two, for 6043 from September 3rd. Ah, so yeah, coins are not considered currency then. Or do I have to look at it again after after the directive has come into effect because technically when I saw it, it wasn't illegal. Now that it, it is illegal, do I need to confirm that it's still there in his possession, possibly? Alright. Looks like they have left the house. Oh. No, no, she's, she's the upstairs one. But sh the other one, I think, is... Yeah, that's Shimmer. Shimmer. 
So she is... Yeah, she's going back to her room. Alright, darn. Okay. I would like to finish up this job, though. Ideally, sooner rather than later. Because I am curious to see how that would work as a mechanism. Maybe I should talk to my son before he leaves, actually. I don't like your new job, father. Your boss is nasty. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you like eating good food and studying at the university? Wear new clothes? Maybe you'll support us then. I'll never... I'll never take. I'll try to find a job. I'll study and work at the same time. I hate the mines, father. I'd rather die than work as a slave. Okay. Let's talk about the mines. I hate the mines. Okay, no. Deadly has not changed his mind on the mines. Um, I haven't missed a single class. To be honest, I didn't think you could secure a place in the university for me. To be a diligent student son, that place costs a lot. Hmm, okay. I won't hold you down. I swear I'd escape if I were sent to the mine. I hate the mines. Keep your cool. I've told you a hundred times that working in the mines is hard, but well respected. Mm, fair enough. I'm trying to help around the house. I play with Mars everything. Good, good. Oh, no, no, I don't want to end conversation. Was that the rest of the dialogues I had available to me? Do you... Yeah, ask about the news. Okay. Okay, so I have to end the conversation before I can ask him about his exclamation mark. Uh, I have an issue. Economics classes have started, and we were given a list of books to read. The books I need for school. I stopped by the bookstore, and they don't have these books. I heard that I could get used ones at the market, but they cost a fortune. Can you ask your friends? Perhaps someone you know has these books. Talk to smart people. Okay, I'm thinking about what I can do for you. Okay, so who do I know that's smart? Uh, let's see. Uh, fine enough. Yes, he's been to the mining college, but we managed to secure a place at the university for him to be an engineer. Hey, cool. Uh, so, an archivist probably has books. Uh, the university gave my son a list of books, but the story case the library is an option, but there's always a line. What's wrong with the library? It's quiet in there. It's a nice place for young men to spend his time. Can't you spend your money on something more useful than books? Thanks, I doubt my son appreciates <laughs> your advice. Yeah, more than likely that's very accurate, so... Rosa works in the cafeteria, always in the kitchen. She loves to baking buns and cakes so much, she does it for a living. I wish she didn't smell like cabbage. <laughs> okay... So what's my wife need? Uh, I saw the police march a handcuffed person right by me. It frightened me. Well... Don't worry, that's probably going to be me in a few weeks. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. The previous building manager, he didn't handle his duties well. Carl, could the same thing happen to you? Yes, and it more than likely will. Thank you for pointing that out. I can't find a big enough saucepan. Oh, the tragedy. <laughs> I am almost certainly going to be, you know, arrested and put to death or something because of, uh, oh dear, I just noticed something. Bear with me one moment.
Hmm. Yeah, I just noticed about half the uh, half the actual game screen was not showing up on this stream. So let me just see if I can fix that real quick. Hmm. And now it seems to appear that... you to capture the beholder window very annoying Yeah, I apologize here. Bear with me. Bear with me. I'm just trying to figure out what exactly is preventing this from popping up as it was. What if I add... I think that fixed it. All right, good. <laughs> Sorry about that. I think I'm still trying to get a hang of that whole OBS software. So I will search every nook and cranny. I have no idea where it is. Maybe someone stole it. Should we call the police? Hmm. Call the police because of an old saucepan. That's exactly what I was thinking. Don't even think about this. You must have left it at our whole house. Okay. If you say so, can you ask the tenants about the saucepans? Oh yes, because I don't have anything better to do. I hope they won't reject the new manager. I'll make a compote for Martha and bring it back. Okay, I'll ask the neighbors about the saucepan. Alright, I'm gonna... This guy does not really seem so helpful. Uh, Rosa, Rosa works at a cafeteria. She should have a saucepan. Do you have a large saucepan? My wife left hers at our old house and our daughter is asking for compote. My husband and I lived alone for many years. We don't need anything large. I took everything to the secondhand shop a long time ago. Well, thank you so much. It's very helpful. Uh, what about these ones? Go, 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 go! No! Now I have to wait for them to get back. Alright, but if they're gone... Is he gone too? Because I think I was... Yeah, so let me see if I can finish inspecting his room. Because I did get kicked out before I was able to finish it. 
And now, let's see him get off the bus. That would be perfect timing. <laughs> okay, comb, whiskey, coin collecting album. Perfect. And what's this new one? I must profile Klaus Schumer. Uh, okay. So, looks like I'm not going to have time to finish my family's missions. Because I'm too busy worrying about the government's missions. Oh, and I already looked at this. Okay. Yeah, I was looking at his chair when he got home last time. So, how about his books? Anything from that Paul guy? Salt, passport, book, wallet, robe. Okay. And apparently, slightly broken bed. Broken bottle, empty bottles, for music. Okay, alright. Let's just get out of this room and. Yeah, I only got an hour left to complete my tasks. That which is hidden will be revealed. Okay. I must profile him. I've already talked to... Yeah, so I... Th yeah, I think I've completed what they wanted me to do. Let me see... Yeah, nothing I can talk to her about. And I can only talk about the trip abroad. So nothing too interesting for that. Okay. So... I know I have a camera in his room. But... If he's doing something outside of my vision, I would like to be able to see it. Oh. Definitely wasn't looking at your neighbors. Definitely wasn't spying. <laughs> so... See. So far, I don't think I've seen anything illegal. Although... Having a gun is probably not such a good thing. It's totally cool for him to have a gun. I, I, I mean, in a totalitarian society, I think usually guns is one of the first things that they want to get rid of. <coughs> uh, pardon me. And there you are. Ah, new directive. Imported soda is prohibited. I don't think I've seen any soda. So hopefully I don't have to worry about that. And now he's asleep. And I think they're probably asleep up here as well. Because I do believe that they are in the building. Yes. And my family is asleep as well. So let's go on over and check the phone. Let's see if there's anything that I could do that's useful here. Uh, the door does phone data. So maybe what you can check the form for the book. If the evidence is valid, the ten will be punished and you'll be rewarded. Okay, so is there anything that I could write now when everyone is asleep? Why is she glowing? Likes to cook. Okay, but there is no contraband. I don't think I know anything about anyone that would get them in trouble to the point where they would need to... 
uh, need to agree to me blackmailing him. And this guy's got a lot of problems, though. He's got gambling materials, weapons, wine. Let's see. Plays chess. Fair enough. And I know... Oh, these are my kids. And Yeah, alright. I don't want to blackmail my kids. That seems counterproductive. Uh, 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 wait, uh, uh, wait, I gotta write the, I gotta write the, uh, profile tenant, um, Klaus, living apartment, one, male, married, uh, literature, oh boy. Um, I don't think this is going to be a pleasant phone call. I, I completely... Emergency call. Okay. More than just yours, actually. Okay, sorry. The state hates laser votes. All tasks must be completed. Do you understand? I understand. Time to act. You must evict Klaus Schimmer. What about his wife? We don't care about her. Do what you think is best. Eviction uh, methods. Talk with Schumer. We'd be fine with him moving out, but it would be better if you report him when he violates the directives. This is your duty, comrade. Okay. Minus a thousand dollars because I missed the reports. Well, they are strict, aren't they? So what would have been a $500 profit turned into a $1,000 loss? Vundabar. Okay. Let's see what my wife needs, I guess. What happened? Martha is sick, Carl. We have no medicine at home. Can you find an aspirin for our girl? I waited in line forever only to find out I needed a prescription. Okay. Of course, I'll find him... Do you have any news about Martha? It's just a fever, but I don't like how she feels. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We talked with our neighbor Carl. They're really nice. I was told a man in a top hat walks near the house occasionally. We can buy things from him. Antiques, don't you have enough things? Listen to me first. You never listen to what I tell you. <laughs> okay. Don't get so steamed. I don't want to offend you. You're the minister. You're the master of bringing people down. Oh, that's not nice. Sometimes I think I live with. What did you say about the trader? <laughs> they say he's selling new household supplies. The old woman on the second floor showed me the perfume soap she brought from him last month. I don't know anything. I don't have anything like that now. But you can take a look at our other useful items. Uh, do you need the soap? We have an entire box of coal tar soap uh, I bought with our ration cards. You're unbelievable, you're unbearable, Carl. A rope around your neck would serve you well. Oh, it's such a lovely family. Go meet him and buy sweets for Martha. The poor thing hasn't had a treat in months. Sweets aren't a big deal. I'll get some. Take a deep breath. We have such a lovely relationship. Alright, fair enough, I suppose my kid is sick, there's no reason that I shouldn't go on ahead. I, what's that? The flag with the red thing through there, I, I don't, I have a feeling that's probably not something I want to hear. Alright, so I need to evict you. Tell me straight, Carl, did you receive an assignment to spy on me? Yes. I'll get to the point. I've received an order to evict you from the building, but they want to evict me from my apartment. That's unthinkable. If I could, I would have left this pokey hole a long time ago. Well, my problem shouldn't bother you. Thanks for the warning. What are you going to do? 
Uh, I want to help you. Why don't you leave the city? This is suspicious, Carl. Why would you care about me? Uh, I'm not asking out of curiosity. I want to help you. I'm being hunted. It's hard to believe anyone is interested in my troubles. I was sent to the tobacco shop to that tiny wooden booth near the fish market. They took my absentee certificate. Without it, I'm stuck here. You understand. Uh, you should know such things, Carl. Thank you. This is the document you need to either enter the strategic facilities or leave the city. Railway stations, ports, and roads and checkpoints are all closed to me. You won't believe me. I received a response from the ministry. The documents were sent to the archives for the data update. They said I should obtain them there. I went to the archives. They said that there's no documents left. I spent a week in the line to see the inspector about submitting a detection application. Two months later, I was told I'd use the wrong form for my application, and they were out of the one I needed. All right, this is starting to be a little bit more Kafka-esque than uh, Orwellian. <laughs> Damn it. You mean the documents are lost in the archives? Yes, the documents are in the archives. They say it's a ploy to drive visitors crazy. <laughs> I don't know if that's a joke or not. The Ministry of Distribution has clean hands. There's nothing we can do about the archives. Well, I mean, we live with an archivist. So this one seems pretty obvious in terms of a, a path forward. And he's leaving already? Why, why are you leaving? I should buy candy for your wife. Your wife has to buy a passport for Martha. And you fix Klaus. Okay, so I guess I better repair that. This is definitely an interesting game, but to be quite honest, I don't know how to really make this as an exciting stream. Um, yeah, I just feel like I'm kind of narrating this by just reading the actual text on the screen, and it's it's hardly as engaging as I hoped it would be. Um, so maybe I'll just call this short for tonight because uh, in the end of the day um, I'm enjoying it but I don't, I don't know if it's really something good as a spectator sport uh, <laughs> uh, I mean if anyone saw this and got up to this point in the stream and actually wants me to continue this uh, please let me know I mean I, I'm certainly willing to finish this up on screen but um Mm, excuse me, sorry. Um, but yeah, I, I just uh, don't know if it would be worth it. Regardless, uh, if I'm wrong, let me know. <laughs> but in the meantime, I'll just end it here for now. And uh, I do hope you all have a good one. I might just play around with this a little bit on my own as well, to be honest. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but enjoy the evening. Goodbye.